Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It's me, Malt. Super stoked to be here with you guys. Today, we are playing some more Clash Royale. First off, make sure you guys hit the bell notification by the subscribe thing so you can get notified anytime that I post a video live. In the first 15 to 30 minutes, I've started pinning people's comments and commenting back to them. Just as kind of a cool way to interact with you guys. It's been a lot of fun reading those comments in the first like 15 to 30 minutes to an hour of the video. It's been really, really fun seeing um, that. So that's something that I'm planning on doing from here on out, guys. So if y'all want to have a chance to have your comment pinned, make sure you do that. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. But let's go ahead and jump into this. What am I doing today? <sighs> Oh my goodness, a 4.0. If you guys know anything about me, I like cheap decks, okay? But once I put the flying machine in here, I was trying an old school hog cycle deck uh, with the flying machine instead of the musketeer. And I looked at my top row and I was like, wait, everything's four. I wonder if we can win with all four elixir cards, including the flying machine. And uh, the first match was pretty ridiculous. So here's the first match, uh, match against a level 13 Livetheum. Uh, he is using a very, very popular um, Golem just beatdown deck. It's got the L-Jack in it. It's got Mega Minion, Baby Dragon, Lightning. Um, it's something that I've seen all over the place. And the only way that we can beat this deck is to not allow him to pump up. And obviously, all that we have that can go against the pump is our Fireball. And that's kind of a problem. Um, so we need to just put a lot of pressure on this guy. Um, and so we just continue pushing this side. Look at this. We got Fire Spirits coming in. We got that Valkyrie. And we have our Battle Ram. But look at this, guys. This Electro Wizard mixed in uh, with the Baby Dragon. Completely shred a Valkyrie. Uh, as well as the Battle Ram. But thankfully our Musketeer right here is going to be able to cross that bridge and do a lot of damage. Um, she's going to get off a whole bunch of shots. Now we've got this uh, Mega Minion coming in. And we can see that his pump is almost down, so I'm not going to let him pump up again. That's the biggest thing. If he wants to pump, he's going to lose. Here, he actually ends up deciding to pump, which is mind-blowing to me because, like, your tower is gone. <laughs> There's nothing you're going to be able to do at this point. His tower is gone, and we're able to take out that other pump, uh, which was only one shot away. And so now I fireball that as well. And so he's feeling it, um, and he drops off his golem. Now, here's the thing. The golem should really be dropped off in a minute and 20 seconds and because if you drop it off in a minute and 20 seconds, then it gets down to the line. You'll see that this golem will get to the bridge at like 110 or so. Um, and his pump up there is gone. So he's not going to have double elixir right when he reaches the bridge, uh, which is going to be a problem for him. So we're just going to drop off our furnace over in this other lane. We're going to go Valkyrie right here as well to take out this... Um, to take out the L-Jack. He lightnings early, um, and that slows him down just a little bit. Now the pump, uh, or the rage spell from that Lumberjack is pretty strong. It's gonna do a lot, uh, for that Mega Minion. But look at this, we're gonna go ahead and push back here and, uh, make this Mega Minion chase, which is totally fine with me. That was the whole plan. Sadly enough, he did indeed have the bats to take it out. Um, but we can go ahead and drop all of this stuff off again. Now I drop it off in this lane. Um, and <laughs> those bats ended up getting to the musketeer. That's funny. All right, so um, we're just continuing to push here, keeping things far back. The fact that his lumberjack is all the way back there is good for us. He's not able to lightning the tower right there. We're going to be able to get down um, a Valkyrie also right here. And then we're going to be able to throw down a fireball right here as well, guys, which stops all of that in, it, in its tracks. And the, the deck that he's using is like like... That's that's a winning deck. Uh, so I was pretty excited to see us be able to take that down my first go with the all four elixir deck. Um, you generally don't see that kind of stuff happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's jump into this. Let's do some live ones. I got a question for you guys as well. How do y'all feel about the flying machine? Personally, I feel like it needs a little bit more health um, because right now, like, just use them. Just use a musketeer. You know, literally just use a musketeer, you're going to do more damage and you're going to survive a fireball. Uh, or use a, a baby dragon or even a mega minion. Um, because, like, if we go in here and look at the, um, like, let's look at the mega minion. The mega minion's health is 1,011, and I know that my flying machine isn't maxed out. Um, but its hit point is only 675. Like, that seems way off. Um, and I'm pretty sure I don't do how well we just have to see what this does so this does 832 damage So a max fireball doesn't kill a max mega minion But I'm pretty sure that a max fireball will or I know that a max fireball kills that flying machine so 
that, that those are my feelings on it. Let me know how y'all feel about it. I feel like it's a cool card. It's definitely going to be fun to play with. Um, but I think it needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, a, a lot of stuff needs tweaking, in my opinion. And, we, and we're going to get that in October, hopefully. Um, so I'm really, really excited for that. So let's see how we can do here again uh, as, we, as we progress uh, and, and see how we go here. I'll go ahead and, uh, and give him a good luck as well. So he's going to go giant down that way, which is fine. Um, I'll go ahead and go battle ram over here as this next group of fire spirits launches off right there. Um, and he's going to go musky. That's fine. Yo, the battle ram, like, its nerf was literally devastating to the card. Um, it's really, really bad now. Um, in my opinion, and uh, I believe in y'all's opinion as well. Once that Mega Minion targets that uh, Furnace, then I'm going to go ahead and drop that off, and we'll go right here also. And, wow, we're going to miss that Musketeer, barely. Um, but we're going to have two pretty good pushes going on over here. He's going to have to fireball that. Mini Peck is still going to get to the tower, get off two shots, and the Valkyrie over there. It, why did she change her target? Okay, thankfully she's still hitting the tower, but... <laughs> Like she, she was hitting. She was hitting what I wanted her to hit, and then she stopped. So that was awesome. Um, we'll go ahead and go right here with this musketeer. Also, we're gonna take a lot of damage here, guys, um, because I, I, this is this isn't good. Um, this isn't good at all. Uh, but I'm gonna try and save up my elixir here as much as possible. There we go, and we'll go ahead and send this hog rider um, over here, and we'll have this fireball ready. I don't know what he has for it. Yep. Cool. So we'll go ahead and fireball this. And that musketeer is going to take a lot of damage. Now here's a, come on, take out that mini packet. Take out the mini packet. Nice. Take out the musketeer and get off two shots, three shots for me. One and two. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. This is working well. This four elixir deck is working well. No pump or anything like that. And obviously because it's all four elixir. Um, but we'll go ahead and um, I'm going to just go this route with this, and I guess we'll go over here with this. And he's going to drop off that knight. He's also probably going to have... Yeah, so he's going to have to log over there, which is perfect uh, because he can have that. I'm going to go ahead and push this side over here. Um, and we'll just get that hog rolling and doing his thing. And I'll go ahead and drop off my musketeer right over here. Hog Rider's going to get so close to taking that out. Um, but we'll go ahead and um, fireball all of this. And I'm going to go Valkyrie right here. And nice. There we go. Valkyrie's going to get on over there. And let's go ahead and drop this uh, flying machine off as well. And all we have to do now is just fireball that. So we'll just keep all of this rolling. Um, and nice, flying machine is doing a great job for us right there. Go ahead and pull this down here as well. Pulling all of that over and um, going and uh, dropping off our mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. And now we can go ahead and go hog rider as well and get over to that tower. He's going to zap that and we're going to be able to take this down with just a couple seconds left. <clears throat> good game. I'm not too sure why you said good luck. I feel like we played really well there. Um, so there we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Good luck to you as well in your next match. Uh, but let's keep on playing with this. So it, it, it's a fun deck. Um, it's kind of like a an old school like hog trifecta, but at the same time, not really because it's pretty expensive. Um, it's really expensive having the mini P.E.K.K.A. in there and the flying machine and really just everything being for Elixir. I feel like the um, the battle ram isn't doing anything for us, so I almost want to trade that out um, for something like let's go let's go baby dragon instead of that battle ram because that thing is just I feel like it's not good anymore. Um, it just takes way too long to get started, and yeah, it, it was really strong earlier on with the with the three musketeer deck, but that was really the only deck that it was strong in besides like a couple of. Um, Besides, like, a couple of, of bridge spam decks. Um, what you got? Mini P.E.K.K.A.? Oh, no. Okay, nice. We'll go ahead and fireball this. And hopefully we can get that Hog Rider to the tower for at least one shot. We're not going to be able to. Wow. All right, cool. Um, go ahead and drop off the Flying Machine over here. Um, which, honestly, watch this. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Flying Machine... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. Come on, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Do your job, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, gosh. The Hog Rider. The Hog Rider lives so long. Uh, get there, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, no. Wow. He just... Goodness gracious. Okay. All right. So, we got to be careful with this guy. Um, he's got a... Did he have a Mini P.E.K.K.A.? I don't think he has a Mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a Lightning Spell, if I'm thinking about the correct deck. Maybe not. Um, he... I think he has Archers, um, uh, Archers, uh, Ice Spirit... Uh, the, um, the knight, the musketeer, and the hog rider, of course. 
And now then we'll just go ahead. Okay, so that doesn't pull him, which is awesome. Go ahead and go right here. And um, I'm going to fireball this. And then take that out. And nice, that fire spirit just did work. And let's go ahead and Valkyrie over here. Not Valkyrie, we'll go ahead and Hog Rider over here. He's going to drop off his cannon. Um, and it's going to target the Hog Rider, even though he was in the back. And Hog Rider is going to get frozen there as well. Let's go ahead and drop this off. And that tower could go down over there, guys, with all that damage that's happening. Nice, that Hog Rider just crushed that tower. That was the push that we needed right there, ladies and gentlemen. Mini Peg is going to get here and get off two shots. Ooh, almost. Okay, all right, so we're doing good. Hog Rider's going to town over there right now. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and drop uh, this off right here. And how am I always so late? I try and get it perfect, but I'm so bad at it. it. Did he just leave? Did he leave the match? Is that what happened? No, he didn't leave the match. He's still here. And I think that we're going to be able to, uh, to take this one to the house, ladies and gentlemen. There goes a fireball. That wasn't the best of fireballs. Um, and now we can go ahead and send our hog rider in. And we can go mini P.E.K.K.A. right over here. And that Hog Rider is going to survive. And look at the flying machine going to town on that tower as well, guys. Woo! There we go. 30 seconds left here. He split up his damage, which is not good. Um, we can go ahead and go right here with this. And he is going to take out this tower on the right. But that's not a problem because we already took out two of his. 15 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and push this King Tower as well. No, that's not the right decision. We'll go ahead and go Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here and take this out. He's going to have to drop off his Hog Rider. And we'll drop off our Hog Rider as well down this right side. Musketeer coming in, staying alive. Here we go. That's three in a row, guys. That's three in a row with this deck, which is awesome. Um, I also tweeted out, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure that you do down below, Molt underscore YT. Uh, I tweeted out for y'all's flying machine deck, so we're going to see how that goes. But hey, there we go, guys. Look at that. One, two, and three. There's a loss right there uh, with a different type of deck. But once we made this 4-0 this deck, we took it to the house. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like it down below. <laughs> I try and say it fast every single time, and I always get tongue-tied. I love you guys. Y'all mean the world to me. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.